Good morning, YouTube fam. First and foremost, I want to say I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. I did. It was a good time to spend with family and eat some good food. Anyways, so today we are going to be doing an install and review video on the ELM 327 um, OBD2 Bluetooth. If you don't know what this is, basically it's for your onboard diagnostics in your car if your car is 95 or newer. My car is 2004, so I have it. Um, what, it bas what it is, is it's onboard diagnostics. There's a little, um, there's a little area to basically, if you ever get a check engine code, anything like that, you go to the, you go to the store, they plug that thing in and they read your codes for you. Um, this will do that and it does some other stuff that, um, a Cobb access port would give you. If you don't know what a Cobb access port is, it's a device, um, that mounts in your, it comes with a little mount and you mount it in your, in your dash or your vent or wherever you want it. And <clears throat> it will read you boost, oil pressure, um, you know, it'll give you all your gauges and stuff and it'll allow you to tune your car based on what stage you are. It has a bunch of preloaded maps on it for different stages, stage one, stage two, um, depending on what fuel you run. And it, it allows you to basically tune the car as you go without paying to have it pro-tuned every time you put a, down, a catalyst downpipe on, um, things like that. This will not allow you to tune your car, but it will allow you to see your vacuum, your boost gauge. It will allow you to see your engine codes. You'll be able to troubleshoot. You'll be able to graph things. You'll be able to do zero to 60 times, record those quarter mile times. Um, yeah, it, 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 does a, it does some cool stuff. And all you need really to do it is the interface itself, which is about 10, 11 bucks online. I'll link the, this one in the description below. And you're going to need your phone, Android, and on your phone, you're going to need to go to the Play Store and download Torque, um, Torque Pro. It's about a $5 app, and you don't need to do this, but I went ahead and bought this little mount here for my phone. So as you can see, plugs right in, boom. And with the phone here, it allows you to close the vent so that when you have the heat on, especially in the winter time coming up, the heat's not blazing on the back of your phone and ruining it. If you put it here, you don't have that option. <clears throat> All right, so let's get right into the video, guys. Down here, you guys aren't going to be able to see it, so I'm just going to plug it in. But down here is where you're going to plug it in. It's going to go this way. It's going to read OBD2. That's plugged in. And you'll... I don't know if you guys can see that, but... There's a little red light that comes on to let you know that you have it. <clears throat> and then you're going to turn your Bluetooth on on your phone. And you want to see torque is idle, OBD adapter is not paired with the device. So we're going to go ahead and here to create your profile, which I've already done here, but I'll show, I'll do a run through. <clears throat> Basically, profile name, engine displacement. This is a two liter, obviously. Um, total, total vehicle weight with, with you in the car. Fuel type, that needs to be petrol, it has diesel, ethanol, E85, you know, things like that. Fuel tank capacity, your fuel level, your max RPMs, the cost of fuel right now. Um, I did a test run with this, so I've been running it for 2.5 miles, or 2.6 miles. You can get as close as you can to the speed multiplier by the decimal point if you wanted to. Um, 
So, like I said, you can read engine codes with this. You can view maps with this. Um, <clears throat> without pulling, if you need to go somewhere, you don't want to pull out Google or whatever, you can just throw the map on, see where you're going. You can, uh, like I said, you can graph stuff. And they have a bunch of different plugins you can get. Um, these are basically all the plugins that comes installed with the car. But you can get more plugins that allow you to do other things. I'm pretty sure they're free. But we're going to go up here to the real time information because that's what we want. This is where we're going to find our boost gauge and stuff. And that's basically what it looks like in a nutshell. Excel, revs, speed, throttle, boost. I don't know why you guys can't see that. Yeah, something like that. Um, this is where you record your 0 to 60 times, record mile times. <clears throat> you can check emissions with this. Um, let me show you guys how to do this. Basically, you can add different gauges for different things. You just hold on the gauge. It gives you all these options. We're going to go to add display. You can choose what type of display you want, graph, digital. We're going to just go with the dial with the needle. Whatever is green is the sensors that this car allows. So if I wanted to do a quarter mile time on here, I could do that. Zero, uh, 60 to 80, 80 to 100. Um, all the ones that are green are the ones that you can pick. So let's go ahead and turn the car on, make contact with that, and then it's going to say connected to ECU when you're all set. I've already connected to this before guys, so I don't have to... Um, put anything in but if this is what I was talking about right here you can check your engine codes with this fault codes option right here and it'll it'll go through like a search search all of your see I have a check engine light on right now um, which is my cat efficiency blah 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 I already knew that so we're gonna go into real-time information connected to ECU so we know we're all set we're gonna go to our gauges and let's start the car up and test it. Acceleration, revs, speed, we're not moving or anything. Uh, this is your vacuum gauge right here. Make sure it's pretty Okay, so I'm, I'm idling about like right above 500 you can see and on the revs you can see it's about 780. Mind you, this is a warm start because I've already started the car. Here you can see all your admissions. Um, I do have an exhaust leak and I did just replace my cat. <clears throat> so, if I were to re reset the ECU, it would clear all the codes and then around 300 miles um, if it ever did come back, then I'd need to fix it. But for right now, this is all it's giving me, which is pretty good considering the last time I checked, I had three engine codes. Um, so yeah, this is your real-time information, like I said. So you're going to want to go ahead and test that out. Make sure that it's, it's connecting okay. Give it a couple revs, make sure it goes up, okay. <clears throat> Alright, and now we're gonna take it for a test drive. You know what I just realized? Somebody fucking hit my mirror. Look at this shit. This is why I don't park on the street, but look at this. I mean, they're lucky it pops back out, but shit. Alright, actually, I need gas too, guys. So, we're gonna go get gas, and we're gonna check this thing out. The red, the red, you can change the display of the gauges too little gear down here go to settings go to themes you can choose a theme um, 
<laughs> for your gauges they have like a blue option they have a regular green option pure white um la 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 i have the carbon fusion which is the orange and black they have a blue one basic amber uh, they just have a bunch of cool ones you could do you can choose your background image on here um you know from your gallery and you know just explore the app guys play around um you know you can go to your units and make sure that everything's calculated the way you want celsius feet kilograms psi um don't display psi in inches of mercury which is how the vacuum gauge reads so yeah this is basically what it looks like an overview of what we want free boost gauge <laughs> well it's not free it's five dollars but and it allows you to do other cool things guys so we're gonna go ahead and take it for a test drive and see how And the cool thing about this app too, guys, is it will record your highest um, gauge reading. So like if I, if I hit a high boost, it'll record that for me, it'll log it so I'll know. Yeah, like I said, guys, if you don't have money to dish out for a Cobb access port, which will run you about five to $600 brand new, or a boost gauge, which could, you know, Cost a hundred, couple hundred bucks, depending on what kind you get. The only way it would be worth it is to buy a used Cobb access port for your car, unmarried from the other person's car. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You have to marry it to your ECU for it to read the data. Um, but after you know driving around with it, it seems to work pretty good. I'll get into like the zero to sixty times, and you know. I'll, I'll play around with that stuff later, but I just wanted to give you guys like a general overview of it. Um, for $15 for the app and the Bluetooth itself, I mean, you really can't go wrong. If you're into stuff like this and you want to be able to record data and log stuff, um, have a free boost gauge, then definitely I recommend picking these two things up. You will need an Android though. That's the only thing is you will need an Android phone. So you need that. If you have an iPhone, it's not gonna work for you. And like I said, I connected my ECU to it yesterday just to kind of do a test run. Um, so when you go to your, your Bluetooth, you're gonna see an OBD2. You're gonna connect to that. The password is either gonna be 0000, 0, 0, 0 1, 2, 3, 4, or 6789. Or depending on which Bluetooth one you get, they have super mini ones. Um, they all do the same thing. Somebody who doesn't have a lot of money to spend on their daily driver like me. Like I said, you really can't go wrong with it. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, post them below in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And see you in the next one, guys. Have a good day.